If you've never experienced it, then it's pretty hard to imagine the kind of weather that could do this kind of damage. Hurricanes, typhoons, or cyclones, as we call them here in Australia, don't exactly happen everywhere. They usually affect people living in warm, humid, tropical places. And that's because these spinning superstorms need some very specific ingredients to get going. Cyclones only form over warm ocean water where the surface is above 26.5 degrees. That's when water evaporates and rises up into the sky, causing some big old storm clouds to form. As more warm, humid air gets sucked up, the clouds grow, and the movement of wind caused by the spinning of the Earth can make the storm whip around into a big spiral. Cyclones get stronger as they move over warm water and weaken over cooler water or land. Meteorologists keep track of them, giving them names and categories to describe how strong they are. In Australia, a Category 1 cyclone has winds of up to 125 kilometres an hour. It could damage the roofs of houses and maybe snap some branches. One step up, then, say, power lines could be damaged, with small trees being pulled out of the ground. Category 3 cyclones get more serious. Think big damage, like the veranda flying off. Category 4 is considered catastrophic, where walls can be blown off houses and big trees can be ripped right out. And finally, Category 5. That's any storm with winds above 280 k's an hour. Entire houses could be destroyed. But the amount of damage caused also depends on what a cyclone hits. Take Typhoon Tip in 1979. It's one of the biggest and most intense cyclones ever recorded. Its wind speed was up to 305 k's an hour and it was as wide as the distance from Cairns to Sydney. Luckily, Tip never hit land. And even a lower category cyclone can end up being really serious if it hits an area where lots of people live or if buildings aren't made of strong materials. And the worst cyclones are often the ones that cause storm surges, pushing seawater onto land. Rain can also cause some big issues before, during and even after the wind has settled down. While cyclones can clearly be devastating, Australians have got better at managing the risks. We've built stronger houses and put plans in place to help people survive these incredible forces of nature. <laughs>